Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. It's March the 7th, 2018, and friends, there's all kinds of things happening in the world today, and we are going to be fully back in action tomorrow. We're still en route to Prague. Uh, we've had to have several layovers because of traveling uh, with, the, with the whole family this time. We also have an emotional support dog that travels with our daughter. Uh, do pray for the family. A lot of stress when you have to travel like that there. We ask your prayers there. want to go back, though, to the video I released the other day speaking about the infiltration that we have been dealing with over the years. And I, I want to say this cautiously because I don't want people to assume that it's this person or that person. Uh, more than likely, you guys probably would not even know who we're talking about uh, or who these individuals are. These are things that have happened to us since our ministry only had 20,000 subscribers. So in, in most cases, I don't think you guys would even know who we're talking about. So I wanna clarify that to start with, because I know accusations can start flying because of people's opinions about who's, who's who and who's what. Uh, and, but we have dealt with infiltration attempts on multiple occasions. Not only do we deal with infiltration attempts from Jesuits, but we have seen a very alarming situation happening inside of Israel where Christians have gone to Israel that have infiltrated the Orthodox community, um, did conversions to Orthodox Judaism with one purpose in mind, to discredit the New Testament. Uh, this is where the other day I made the mistake when I was speaking, and I'm not even going to use the terminology whatsoever again. I was speaking about how that this Jesuit plot is to try to discredit that Yeshua indeed is the Messiah, and instead they want them to accept the Antichrist that Rome is going to produce when they come up with their Messiah. I was speaking too fast the other day when I said that. I do have a pretty serious case of dyslexia. I had it all my life. Makes it pretty tough uh, writing books, and I am on my third book, so you can only imagine how many times I have to go back and uh, write again. And that's mainly because what happens, too, when I'm speaking, my brain is going so fast and my mouth can't keep up with it, and then my brain goes into the next thought, and before I can finish speaking the thought beforehand, I'm already on the next subject. And so then my brain just picks up, makes my, or my mouth picks up and picks up in that next thought, and jeez, oh, that's how you get those kind of mistakes. So I, I really appreciate the love you guys have for us here, knowing the intention of my heart, uh, knowing that I would never say anything uh, unintentionally. But getting back to that serious situation, this is one reason why I have felt not to reveal too much about what I'm writing in the book. In one case particular, because the information was leaked back to me, there was a person that knows me that has infiltrated the, the Orthodox community to discredit that Yeshua is Messiah. They're using and studying the revelations that God has given me to be able to make sure that the Jewish community will not believe that Yeshua is indeed the Messiah at the advent of the two witnesses coming. Now, I'm not a witness by no means. Make that clear. But myself, like many of you that may have gifts and anointings as you share insights on YouTube or if you write books or whatever the case may be, we are breaking up that ground. We're turning over the ground so that the seeds that are falling, the seeds that are being planted, are ready to go. When the witnesses come, they will bring that rain. Because you know, it is a latter rain and a former rain. And of course, the, it is a, uh, uh, a geshemore in Hebrew, which is a teaching rain. So that will be poured. That's actually, by the way, that's when the scripture is fulfilled. When this gospel has gone to all the world, then the end will come. What is this gospel? When Jesus said that, it's what he taught. That's why he said that Elias must 
truly shall first come and restore all things. Restore what? What Yeshua taught. There's your Geshemore, your teaching reign. It's restoring back. Not that the New Testament is, is bad. No, it's, that's not true. It is good. It's a good book. But the denominations, do you realize that according to statistical facts, over 9,000 denominations, if you look at Wikipedia, it says 38,000 denominations, but according to the research I've done, it's nine, over 9,000 denominations are registered in the world on Christianity alone. Now, when Yeshua came 2,000 years ago, what was he dealing with? Pharisees, Sadducees, you had the Samaritans, a little bit different there, and maybe a few little rogue independent groups out there, and that was it. Now, how in the world then? I mean, those of you that believe in rapture, and it's funny because I talked about Billy Graham and uh, the dream I had years ago, people said, oh, you're a pre-trib believer. I never said I was a pre-trib believer. I believe that God hides away his people during his wrath. Not the wrath of man. So, in my opinion, I've never been pre, mid, or post. I don't know when that actually is. I can just see clearly from the Old Testament that he hides his people away before his wrath comes. So, what we're going to go through, is it pre-trip, mid-trip, post-trip? I have no idea. That's why I'm not in on any of those groups. And also, too, the dream that I had as far as Billy Graham, uh, the rapture, you know, I don't know who it was that came up to me. It wasn't an angel or nothing. Just people were getting ready for the rapture. The guy came up to me and he says, Billy Graham will die just before the rapture. Now, I know it wasn't an angel because I've had the angel of the Lord come to me on, on multiple occasions. And I've seen him face to face. At least the angel that has spoken to me. And every time he tells me something that's going to happen, it happens. And I know exactly what he looks like, what his voice sounds like, everything. But this was just some guy came up to me in the dream. I don't know who he was. But then again, what does just before or just after he dies, what does just after mean? Uh, which is kind of interesting because I know that uh, uh, Brother Paul said recently in a video he did, he spoke about this as well. And he, shared, he said something that was something that me and him had actually talked about together as well. He said, what does uh, soon mean? Five years? Because I said to Paul, I said, what does it mean? Is, that, I said, is it a week, a month, six months, a year, five years? What is just after? I said, because remember, when the apostles were here, they were expecting the coming of the Lord to be so imminent, but yet, what was it? And I even said this to Paul. I said, it was what? Uh, 37 years later, the destruction of Jerusalem came. But yet, it seemed like it was right at, it's at hand. It's at hand. The time is at hand. The time is at hand. All right? So this is what I look at there. I don't know that answer. Now, coming back, to, though, to what we've been dealing with, we're also dealing with situations that are happening uh, in America, the Second Amendment, the First Amendment, freedom of speech, etc. And I wanted to take and find a secondary platform because of the infiltrations we've faced, because of uh, the threats that we're facing. Um, and I can't go into the details on all these things, friends. I mean, we've had some serious threats as well. We know that YouTube is censoring everything we do. They censor your comments. You'd be surprised how many times I'll see that there's supposed to be so many comments up and they're not there. And why that's happening, I have no idea. But they would like to take us down. One, because if I speak against Rome, uh, if I speak about the Second Amendment rights, and there's many things I want to speak more candidly about, but I know that YouTube, because of their censorship, could close our channel at any time. We actually have a couple of different ideas that we're working on. We did set up live stream account, which we already had a live stream, Israeli News Live. If you type it in, and I'll be sure to put it in the description this time, I'll try not to forget, type in live stream, uh, www.livestream.com forward slash Israeli News Live. <clears throat> That'll get you directly to our live stream channel. Many of you have already signed up on there. That's where I'm going to go into deep, serious issues. Now, I know because uh, Paul had told me that he runs it off of this, and he, you can actually run live uh, over several platforms as a result. Uh, you, can, you, can, um, you can do um, Roku. <clears throat> and I know people have already told me they don't see it on Roku, so I've got to find out what I'm doing wrong on that Roku, YouTube, Facebook, all those. I could really run live on all these platforms, but i got to figure it out. 
because I know I'm in danger of YouTube just shutting us down. We are also going to take and we're gonna, it'll probably be within the next six months, we are going to start a magazine. Uh, a monthly magazine is what we're going to try to do. It may, we may start it from a newsletter and then develop it into a magazine. It'll be looking at uh, world events that are happening each month as well as um, uh, prophecy, biblical insights. It will be dealing with uh, health issues and treatments. Yana's actually getting her degree. She should be finished with her degree. Probably by the time we start the magazine, she'll actually have her alternative medicine uh, uh, masters. Uh, she's in this program now finishing up her masters in alternative medicine. Uh, so we're going to be <clears throat> having a lot of things in this magazine that we're going to publish once a month and that's going to be another alternative way to reach you guys in the event they end up because we look at it this way what if they shut down the internet altogether for alternative media? You need to have a way that we can contact you. Uh, the magazine will probably be not under Israeli News Live, but Independent News Live, because we also have this name registered as well. Uh, in Israeli News Live, that we are a corporation, not a 501c, but we are a news corporation. Um, we, but the thing is, and I'm getting too long-winded in this video, and I apologize that for that, friends. But we are facing some very serious threats from uh, a Jesuit conspiracy on multiple levels. And by, by the way. There has just been a rocket alert attack uh, in Israel. Don't know the details yet. I just saw it pop, on the, pop up on the screen while I'm talking to you guys here now. I'll try to get more into things that are happening later today. There is a major prophecy I want to share with you that I just discovered about the Vatican. It's actually in the book I'm writing. And that's another thing altogether, friends. I, the, there's no way to express to you the things that are happening to me on a daily basis on Revelation. I have never in my life had such a pouring of the Holy Spirit in my entire life. It is happening at an overwhelming rate. Um, and this is one reason why the third book I'm writing right now, I haven't spoken about the title of the book, uh, but it is definitely going to be a blessing to both Christians and Jews alike, especially the Jewish community, to open their eyes. But I know it's going to bless the Christians like never before. and. So pray for me. There's a lot that we're trying to do, a lot we're trying to get done. And again, this is what I wanted to share the other day. We are dealing with an infiltration, and we are looking for the alternative means to set this up. Uh, if you're going to be interested in the magazine, we've got to look at the cost of publishing, etc. We're going to have to publish this on a mass scale in order to make it cost effective. Uh, we're thinking it would be, and, and don't quote me, I'm just trying to throw a thought out there right now. Uh, anywhere from three dollars to ten dollars a month for the magazine. It'd be like magazine you'd buy in the store there, uh, because we will also to be photographs, etc. We want to share things that we see around the world. Uh, we are speaking with other friends of ours that are journalists around the world uh, that would be willing to contribute articles from their perspectives that they're seeing on things, and we're talking about journalists that are real journalists, accredited journalists uh, from around the world that really bring out some very interesting ideas. And, but we want to make sure we have a way that you guys stay informed one way or the other. Email us so Let us know if you're interested in this magazine as well. And again, I, we will begin to try to respond to these emails. We're going to do a mass email, but it'll all be private. No one will see your email as we send those out. Once we get everything in, we're going to send out an email and let you know how we're going to deal with things. But if you're interested in doing the magazine uh, that we will end up publishing, let us know that as well under Danoon Institute at gmail.com. Uh, and then once we actually get a dedicated email for any of these things we're doing, we'll also send you an email there so you'll know that information uh, because I know that Gmail is not a safe place to be using either. Uh, at any rate, I'm sorry for this. Um, again, my brain is in a hundred different directions today. We love you guys. Thank you so much for your love and, and kindness. The next video I'll be doing tomorrow, probably I'll be doing a quick news in the morning, an update of things that are happening around the world, but I am about to release the most profound revelation on what's happening right now, the infiltration of Rome in Israel on the most in-depth level that will blow your mind away. It is prophetic. It is prophetic. I used to think that when they cried, BB King of the Jews, the Prime Minister, and yes, he is a King of the Jews per se, uh, and 
he's going to stumble and fall, all right? And I hate to say that, but he is going to fall. And it's not, I don't have anything against the prime minister at all because when I say this, but it's because of the prophecy. When God says, is there no king in thee? He's, he's letting you know the king did not work, all right? And then the second thing I got to share with you as well, and that is when it comes to President Trump. I really feel like, I don't think President Trump is a bad man. Even when I spoke this video the other day on live stream, it's not that I think that President Trump is a bad man. I think that he's under the pressure of the deep state in such a way like you've never, ever could possibly imagine. And maybe he has some good intentions. I, I still have that concern and reservation because of the connection to the Vatican. I'll, I'll always have that. I'll always, that's a check mark to me. All right, but it doesn't mean that you're a bad guy just because you might have uh, not not the connection part, but just because you're Catholic or something like that. Because God says, as I've said many times, "Come out of her, my people." So He's got His people that are in Catholicism, and we want to see not just Catholicism, any organization that's going back to Rome. I've been too long, guys. I love you. God bless you. Pray for us. Got another flight to catch. And shalom.